Hey there, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff I'm doing on some of the bikes. What this is here are original Eaton gas caps. And there's different years of Eaton gas caps. These are original. And we clean these up. Special solution I'm going to show you. This is a brand new leather insert that goes here. I've already put this one in here. I got these from Old Dude. I'm trying to rehydrate some corks. Nothing on the internet suggests that it can even be done. These are the tanks off of Evergreen, the Peacock 449. And that's as good as it gets. Most of the time, it's all rusty in here, and the cork is toast and it leaks and it causes problems. These are beautiful. Uh, trying to find gas caps like that, um, impossible just about. These are exceptionally nice. Even the top is, has some quota bits. So they're usually a lot rougher. And here's the bike itself. And we have some of the pieces lined up. Duncan has just rebuilt the transmission. And upon my orders, you did not blast the case. This is battery acid discoloration. You cannot get that out without blasting it. But the train is all rebuilt and ready to go back. And uh, I'm just starting the cleanup process here. So we have another original toolbox here. This is the one that came off of it. I'm gonna see which one I wanna use because I'm not really happy with this key lock here. This has got a lot of wear. I think my buddy Bob Gaten, who got it from Benny Martinico, stole the original box off of it. It's really weird. It's got so much wear in the toolbox because it doesn't really fit the rest of the bike. So anyways, here we go. Uh, this whole rear end is coming off and going to be cleaned up. I have to make the decision or not whether I'm going to re-yank the front end off or not. I probably will. But for now, I got from here back, it's all got to come apart and get cleaned up. So we do have a NOS Bugo tip for it here. I've got to redo these little screws back here they're not properly put on when it was remounted i did not remount that myself that's why it has to be redone and uh just a quick look here this is the bug's front fender she's all nice and straight now so that's a little scar there and just a little wrinkle on the side but she's all nice and straight there's the bug we'll be getting back to her pretty soon but i want to show you these gas caps some of you boys were asking, how do we clean this stuff up? Well, this is the process. This here, it's a nice dirty gas cap. That's what they usually look like inside. Nasty. And this is mineral spirits here. And we clean the parts slowly. And they're all nice and clean. This after the first soak here. Again, it's uh, still nasty-ish here. Depends on how much corrosion, that one's pretty good. So, this is an early cap. This is a later cap. These are all early Eaton's here. I think they're pretty good there. I gotta go down the line, see what we got. See, I gotta soak that. These are uh, some of the screws in it. I've gotta find one disappeared on me for the uh, bug, for primary. But they've been cleaned. They've been put in. Rusty Co, which is over here. And we get Rusty Co in a 55 gallon drum. It is water soluble. There's the Rusty Co right there. And we have this special drum here. It's all sealed. We put it in and we let the product soak. So we have right now this up more gas caps soaking so I pull the lid off just to show you that's normally sealed it's airtight special order and uh, unfortunately they sold me a metal one the metal one I found out crow so I'm replacing it with plastic and then we go after they're all clean and I'm happy with it we put it in Gibbs. Now Gibbs comes in a spray 
and I ordered by the gallon. Incredibly expensive. That little bit there is four gallons, and I got uh, a few spray cans. What did I get? Here we go. We got three cans of, of spray and four gallons, uh, 800 bucks. Incredibly expensive stuff. But it molecularly bonds with the metal, patinas it so it looks aged and prevents rust. So I have some NOS quarks, here's three of them, here. And I, back in the day, I used to be able to get this sort of stuff to expand with grease. This is really high quality grease from Lubrication Engineers, special order stuff. So I'm going to let these soak here in the grease for a couple of weeks and see if we can get them nice and moist and wipe them off. If I can't get these working in the grease, I'm hit. I gotta go with the leather. But I'm gonna give it one last shot. I tried the Gibbs to just see if there's a miracle cure. It just did not react with the cork at all. All the cork websites say basically you're screwed. Um, so I'd really like to put cork back in it because that's the way it came, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Obviously it's hard. They would not have the leather inserts that old dude makes. People are having issues. So we'll see what I can do with that. So, uh, Evergreen's caps are nice. So, uh, an exceptional original paint bike, but uh, in case you're wondering, it came apart because everything was either rusted solid or loose as a goose. I'm real happy with the way Bugs Fender came out. And all these bikes have always gotten hit somehow on the front fender somewhere. So it's got a little wrinkle in here. And I've got this beautiful airplane I want to stick up here and maybe I'll get a fender light or something for it. Um, got all this biking a little more because it's got so much jewelry on the ass end of it. But uh, I'm so happy with the front fender. I'm going to let my guy straighten this front fender here. So in that respect, I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, but I'm glad the bug got hit in a way because it straightened up my back. And now I had to find a dent guy I can trust with this original paint. And Greg, you really came through with this whenever you see this video, old boy. I'm so happy, thank you. So, uh, here's the lineup. A new motor and training of that. Another original paint 49, original paint 49WL. There's Mr. Bill there. Original paint 47, original paint 47, original paint 41 FL, original paint 47, restored 37, and original paint 40. So, um, if I want these bikes right, there's not one of them that doesn't need work. Uh, so, there it is. Even though this one started and ran beautiful at the meet with a battery and some gas, uh, it's not there. But I don't know if you noticed, but all the original paint bikes have the gas caps off because I'm soaking them, except for Evergreens. And the, unfortunately, being a restored bike, these caps here are reproduction. So, uh, which is, if anybody you've seen that on eBay, that's why I'm selling this bike because it is a restored machine. I don't want any restored machines in the collection. So, there we go, and uh, still got to straighten out the little lights here on Bugs Rear Fender. I'm just going to put a new taillight bracket. I've been waiting for the front fender, but when I get in into this anymore, I can just sit down and work on it. So we're, we're, we're going. So we're going quite well, and uh, i got a ton of parts i got to sort here in the next couple of weeks, and then we'll get down and... So they get the sorting done, I'm going to get down and get some serious work done. You'll see some other videos. So this is an update, mainly for the gas caps. to show you how we do it. So I, I don't edit these films at all. So I have no way of going, oh, we dipped it. Oh, look at it this. Oh, look at it that. I lined it up as best as I can. I'm not going to start editing my films. I'm just not going to do it. So anyhow, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.